what's happening? It's been a few days. It's day 52. I think the last day I checked in was on day 49. We were hiking into Daleville, which is which is Roanoke, the Roanoke area. And it started to rain really hard, so I had to put everything away. <clears throat> That was a really nice little stretch of hiking we did. We did um, we did 11 days on, and 10 nights. And we stopped at Trent's one night and did, Trent's is a grocery store north of uh, Bland. We did uh, laundry there, and we were able to camp in their camping area next to a horse. It was a lot of fun. But yeah, so that between Marion and Daleville was was the last stretch that we did and Trent's was somewhere in the middle there, which was good because we needed showers bad. So we left. So we we what happened is we decided to do it wasn't a Nero. We we hiked I think 17 miles into Daleville. We got there around five o'clock in the afternoon and we stayed at the Super 8, which was really nice, um, especially for hikers. I mean, it was just a good location here, a quarter of a mile or so from Kroger and a couple of really good restaurants over there. Um, Smash decided to rent a car, which was <laughs> doubly awesome and we also stayed we ended up staying three nights so we did we did um a late day it wasn't a nero it was just a late day and then two zeros um because we're trying to get our feet back a little bit trying to get our legs back in shape and then yesterday day 51 i didn't capture anything yesterday uh we caught a really hard downpour about an hour into the hike and that pretty much set the tone for the rest of the day and then today it's already rained for around two hours i think it's saturday maybe may 10th <laughs> i'm feeling really good um caught a little trail magic by a guy named mountain dew he is doing a through hike um He's got a little support from his wife. They've got a an RV, and um, she'll she'll stop somewhere, and he'll catch up and hang out in the RV, stay overnight, and then he does a little slack packing. And really, really great guy, um, great people. We've been running into him maybe for our last three or four nights on trail, including before the zeros. So it's been it's been cool running around with him a little bit, but yeah, they 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 set up some hot dogs, macaroni salad, and a big um, big old uh, thing of sodas. So I drank a, an RC cola, which I haven't had in like ten years. But I just wanted to show this bottom in here. It's it's been pretty awesome. We're like, I think we're like 16 miles in on a 17 mile day. And we got up, we, we camped actually on the Blue Ridge Parkway last night on the parkway next to a bench at a view called Mountain Vale View. Look at this tree that went down. Hmm. Oh, man. Say hi to Nibbles. Hi, Nibbles. Hi. But, yeah, I, I haven't been on camera because of all this rain. And it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, too. But Roanoke was a super good time. 
we saw um, some friend. We saw a friend that we haven't seen in a really, really a long time, and he lives there now with his wife. We haven't seen him in like eight years. Um, we went on a little bit of a, a little bit of a brewery tour. Um, the Ballast Point Brewery is right there in Daleville, a couple miles from where the trail crosses the highway. And I'm not talking about 81, I'm talking about whatever highway the Super 8 is on. It's a really nice brewery. It's like a brand new facility. It's their full brewery too. It's um, like the size of like a Sierra Nevada facility or campus, if you will. And then we went to a couple downtown uh, in downtown Roanoke. We went to a couple breweries down there and that was a lot of fun. And, you know, I went to Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel's right in Daleville, which is, which is awesome. So we stopped there first, ate like horses, pigs and whatnot. Yeah, it was a great time. And we also resupplied. So we're, we're looking at, yeah, and resupplying always sucks because you get back on trail and your pack like just weighs so much. Like my, my food probably weighs, it, it feels like it weighs as much as my whole pack does without anything in it. So like my empty pack weight without food or water, I swear my food weighs about the same. And that's what, what it is, is you end up putting, I put in some accoutrements for, for flavor, not too many, but, and then I mix up the proteins. I do a uh, couple of those flavored tuna packets. Uh, this time they had uh, Tyson's uh, cubed chicken in the meat section, which was awesome. It's like a pre-cooked chicken and it doesn't taste like tuna. Like you'll get some of those pre-cooked chickens and you're, you swear you're eating tuna, it's nasty. Um, and I always get something like pepperoni and I got a meat stick in the mail from, uh, from our resupply, from our in-law, from my in-laws. And then I got a bunch of, uh, hydration tablets, a few candy bars also in the mail. But yeah, at the end I had to redo my rice. I ran out of rice on my last trip. I do, I hold about, I hold enough rice to where I can thicken up any meal. And, you know, I know a lot of people are like, oh, you just need to eat less and, you know, count your calories. But in reality, like, you have to eat a lot. <laughs> and you need to make sure that your calories aren't just, like, garbage calories. They have to have substance to them. So I try to I try to eat things that have, you know, some, some nutrient and some, you know, practicality. I, I'm not just eating honey buns and oatmeal. Although oatmeal is good. And here's another little recipe I've been doing. I've been taking some of my instant rice I've been and adding it when I cook oatmeal. I add it to my oatmeal and it is delicious. And somebody on trail gave me a bag of dehydrated butter and I've been adding that to a lot of stuff. And it's it just adds like this nice salty, creamy, buttery flavor, which is what butter does um, to everything. Look at this little cool little valley we're in it's awesome I love the lighting in these rainy forests so yeah you add a little you add like a spoon of butter and then you have your oatmeal and then you also add some rice to it and the rice takes the longest to cook so you actually might add the rice as soon as you put the water in the pot. I think, you know, you heat it up. You don't even need to boil it. I mean, I think people boil things for stupid reasons. A lot of, even a lot of times you can cook most things at like 160, 170 degrees, which is short of a boil. So I, I heat it up, throw everything in there, put a lid on it, um, and then just let it sit for 10 minutes and then, you know, go do some things and come back. And it's like, it's like a delicious sweet rice dessert with oatmeal. 
man, that's probably what I'm gonna have this evening because I ate two hot dogs today at uh, Mountain Dew's Trail Magic. So, I hope you enjoy this forest scene. And now we're, we're past the point of running into naked or bare forests. Like, you know, for the first three or four or five weeks of the trail, everywhere you'd go was essentially, you know, bare forests. All, none of the leaves were growing back. It was still cold. Now we're starting to see, you know, the leaves are coming back. It's not always ice, like the last two rains or last three rains have been moderate temperature wise. Like there, it's been in the seventies when it rains. Um, so we're, we're not, we're, we're getting away from those 30 degree, you know, touching the thirties. Anyhow, I'm almost at the shelter. If there's no one in there, I'll do a little, some shots of the shelter today. I'm sure there's people there. It's raining. And it's a two-story shelter. They're not really two stories. They just have like a, an upper deck so you can sleep up top if you need to. But we'll be, we'll be uh, staying there tonight because it's, I think we're supposed to get rain through the evening. So... Oh, anyway. Oh, another thing too, I, I've taken a couple of falls. So in the last, so the last two days of hiking yesterday, I slipped on a rock, which I wasn't doing anything. I was just walking along, stepped on the rock and it just went out from underneath me. And then right as we we're getting into Daleville, it was in the middle of a storm. And I, I was like, I was literally, I didn't realize I was this close. I mean, you can hear the, the, the traffic on the highway. I was literally 100 feet from getting out of the forest and making our one block walk to our hotel. And I, I, I stepped wrong and I fell right into a muddy, like, puddle. It was nuts. Um, I, my, only my hands and my shoes and stuff got muddy. I was able to land on my hands even though I had stuff, you know, in my hands. Um, but it's, it, it always sucks to take a fall. I wonder where Nibbles went.